Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Boy, yeah, my name is Major Slack. Thanks for joining me again. Let's walk through some more Borderlands 2. Coming up next in the main mission line is where Angels Fear to Tread. Rated as tough, level 24. Uh, I've done several practice runs through it, and all the loot that we, gonna, we are going to pick up in this area is going to be rated at level 24. We won't be able to use it yet, which is a shame because there's a ton of great loot. I think it would be better if we took on where Angels Fear to Tread at level 24. Cur currently, we're at level 23. So let's do a couple of side mission clean up runs and level up to level 24 yep blasting through the game um a little too quickly how about that level or rather episode what are we at episode 30 and i'm three quarters of the way through the game hey thumbs up for the slack i told you it would be a bonsai run um just very quickly a couple things i bought i bought this adaptive shield so this has replaced my original pouncing turtle shield this is great this is great for an adaptive shield the capacity is fantastic. And what else did I buy? I bought finally a longbow corrosive grenade here, which is perfect for those ion loaders that generate that kind of like force field, that impenetrable force field. This longbow grenades will actually penetrate those. So, and this is perfect because it's a corrosive cloud. And that's about it. Oh, and I bought this rocket launcher, which I want to test. Look at the damage on this baby. This is insane. I paid 9,000 bucks for this. Yeah, so this is probably going to replace my angry RPG, but it will need some field testing. Uh, the the reload speed is absolutely colossal. It's going to take like five years to reload this thing. But yeah, we'll see how that performs under pressure. So that's it, and I'm taking on along my Deadshot Hammer Buster. Let's go on a turkey shoot, a good old fashioned turkey shoot. Take on a couple of missions. We are, actually we already have one on board. This one here, Doctor's Orders. Um, my first run through wild, the Wildlife Preserve. I have yet to upload those videos. They're going up today. Today is April 10th. Okay, I'm way ahead. Way ahead. And um, yeah, I'm sure that everybody's going to have an absolute shit fit because I forgot to. Um... Quiet, Patty. Oh, Iridium. Look at this, people! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure a lot of viewers had an absolute shit fit. I picked up that mission by accident, completely by accident, and I completed three quarters of the mission completely by accident. I had no intent on doing this mission whatsoever. So everybody who posted a miss the spot comment on these videos, my on my original original run through the wildlife preserve, saying Slack, you forgot to complete this mission. No, I didn't. I didn't even intend on doing this mission. I didn't even intend on picking it up. So. <laughs> Let's do that now, along with the animal rights mission from Mordecai. Mordecai, for you. take that on for now. The engineers working in the Hyperion Preserve are still alive. You're gonna fix that. When I was doing recon out there, I heard them experimenting on three badass creatures. Get out there and free them. I want to see a bloodbath of what they did to my bird. All right. Get some payback. For Mordecai out to the wildlife exploitation preserve. Now most of the enemies here are going to be like real giving up real chump XP like 3 XP, 11 XP, stuff like that. So we're just going to leave them alone. Um, what I want, I want... Okay, this is going to be our bread and butter, the Deadshot Hammer Buster. Um, I'd also like to have uh, this guy for power loaders. And once again, if you hear sounds of drilling or hammering or whatever, it's my fucking landlord <laughs> doing some renovations downstairs. It's relentless. And I've noticed on many of my recent videos that my microphone is actually picking up all this hammering and drilling. So if that's what you're hearing, that's what it is. Okay. Like I said, let's just bypass all these uh, these enemies here. Most of them are worth like between 10 and 25 XP. We're not going to get anywhere wasting time getting down all these guys. First objective is to free some stalkers right in this area here. Let's do it. See, 5 XP. 
they get in my way, yeah, I'll gun them down, but other than that. Okay, let's take this side route here. Okay, now as soon as you free these animals, they're all friendly, and you're gonna be tasked with killing 12 guards. Let's place the hangout is right here. Just get them all down when they appear. There's one right there. Okay, we got six. That's enough out of you, hang on. Okay, there we go. We got eight. That's our guy. That's our guy. Nice. Nice. Ten. Eleven. And that's twelve. Silence. Now I just want to open up this uh Oh my gosh. I hate those exploders with a the passion. There we go, that'll open up the Oh, you want a little exploder. Alright, well just phase lock it. Where is my... That guy's in the wrong slot here, I wonder. Yeah, these power loaders, ones with the spinning blades, any torque weapon will do them in fine. Otherwise they just deflect all your bullets. Okay, that's that. Sneezler. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Let's move on to the next location. Now, if we get lucky, oh great, we're lucky. Got a badass. Get some XP from him. You stop. Good. Three hundred thirty-three. 336 XP. Ah, I'm stuck. Ooh, a purple. What's the purple? Can't look at it. Everybody, calm the F down. Yeah. Okay, I wonder if uh, P. Mullen's gonna sp spawn. That'd be great, because these were the two or three thousand XP as well. Pymon or P. Mullen or uh, Pimmon, however you want to call them. Usually in this area right here. Completely random. And I think I want a little bit of Kiss of Death action here. Go get some of my little Kiss of Death. Bring me back some health. Seem to do anything. 
There we go. I was gonna talk about doing that delicious stuff. There we go. What's that? Oh. Didn't spawn. Okay, whatever. <laughs> you left the money behind, Zackle Slack. Yeah, I don't know. I left the behind money behind. Whatever. Okay, it's a chump loot sale. That we had. We can actually use this. But uh, it doesn't fit in with my playstyle. Huh. I'm kind of on the fence about this magazine size 19% across the board. Wow. Huh. Okay, I'm going to hang on to that just for, just for posterity. That goes. Uh, we already have a better rocket launcher. Mm, mediocre at best. Zooks Corinthian doesn't really float my boat. Nothing special compared to the Heartbreaker. I just want to make sure I didn't sell something I meant to. Didn't mean to. No, it looks good. Okay, what's your story? Rubber eyes, forget it. Okay, next switch. Free the skags. Same deal here. Free the skags. Gun down ten guards. Here's the friendly skags. Go, my little puppy dogs. Feed. And I think this would better be served by the heartbreaker. This situation. There we go. Interesting, interesting. Okay, to get to the third switch to free the badass stalker, we're gonna have to hang out here in this area until that door opens. Not that door, this door. I'm gonna whack every day. So I'm just gonna have to put up with the chump XP that these guys give up. Put a little pot clips now. Wait a minute, it's wrong with the grenade mod. This guy here, the singularity. God, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Show yourself. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, here we go. Up you go. Here, lots of XP from that guy. And here we go, big badass warloader. What she said. Okay, we got the door open. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And he drops a Meridium. 11 Iridium. Spend your Iridium slack. Yes, I know. Spend my Iridium. Okay. Could hit these loot boxes again. Why not? And how about a loot midget? Nope. There we go. Hey, buddy. Stop that. It's like it's a little mini loader. Mini war loader, so cute. <laughs> you there, you were some XP. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, good old fashioned turkey shoot. I'm not, I'm up for that. How about the new rocket launcher? This would be total overkill. That's what I'm talking about. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, this is legendary hammer buster. Sweet score. Okay, guys, I don't want to waste bullets on you. Most of you are just like. Okay, once again, we're going to have to clear out this area in order to get that door to open. So this is a job for the Heartbreaker, Dream Digger, Love Maker. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, picking them off here, boss. That door right there. So we're gonna have to clear out the area. Okay, everybody line up here for a spanking. Especially you. Oh, we got a badass on the scene. There's something just chewing on my ass when I take that new badass. There we go. Oh, you guys want a little pop ups now, don't you? Oh, the door is open. Here we go. Everybody gets sucked in. <laughs> Apocalypse now, I love it. <laughs> That's my singularity uh, phase lock Helios combo. It's a devastating combo. And this is probably something else everybody freaked out over during my initial run through Hyperion, or rather, Wildlife Reserve. I forgot to hit the switch. And here is the final item for 
doctor's orders. Take this stuff and you complete this. There we go. Say it. There, I did it. Haha. Uh -huh. That's some nice happy thoughts. Back to animal, animal rights. Free the badass stalker. Switch is here. Same deal. Free him up. Kill 12 guards and we're done. Creatures released. Security forces dispatched. Okay, since we're in close quarters, let's use the, the heartbreaker. That's it, that's all she wrote. For now. Come on back. Okay, I'm good with that. Let's go on back. And turn in these two missions. Get a quick 7,000 XP from these guys. And might get a decent relic from Patty, Patty Tannis. What'd you give us? Highly entertaining. The data you found may hold the key to stopping the spread of slag poisoning. Oh, that's nice. This guy here, the Allegiance Relic. Jacob's magazine size plus 42%. Huh. That would actually go with my, uh. My hammer buster. Can I help you? I yeah, have yeah, yeah. To do, mouth breather. <laughs> okay. And we're full. Uh, Mordecai, my man. Where the hell are you? Hey, slab. Hey, brick. There he is. That's just the beginning. And this gets you. Every Hyperion bastard's gonna pay for Bloodwing. Every one of them. And this gives you a sniper rifle, a unique sniper rifle that bypasses shields. And this one has a pretty decent critical hit damage bonus. And I'll take this one just for posterity. Bloodwing's dead. Jack's nearly got the vault open. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Or, more like a lot of drinks. The Hodunks run rack ale out of the dust. Blast the kegs off one of their booze runners and get it for them. Okay. Um, let's go through what we got here. Uh, this is going to be like very situational. This too. This I want to stash for sure. <laughs> Looks like we got a lot of stuff in here. I think Miss Moxie's bad touch had seen its day. So um, first of all, I'm going to need room in my inventory to be able to swap stuff around. So I'm going to have to sell at least something. All right, here we go. Can't use it. Can't use it. Can't use it. Fuse, is too, fuse time is too long. I have too many grenade mods and I, I kind of like the ones I have. So that's... No, nothing really special. No elemental effects. TDR. 
They should have a star. Unless I have two of them. I do. Okay. That goes. Normally I'd be excited about a, a Hyperion shotgun, but I already have the Heartbreaker, so. That goes. Can't use it. A sludge move with a really long fuse time, no thank you. Once again, really long fuse time. That goes. Capacity is way too low, and that should free up some space in the inventory. Guns. I got there we them. go. You need them. Never got stationed anywhere this nice in the lands. Okay, let's do our customary Red Rock run and fetch Patricia Tan is this place. And then I'm gonna have to go through everything off camera to see exactly what I'm gonna bring and what I'm gonna leave behind. Yeah, lots of stuff in the safe here. I think I'm gonna finally sell Miss Moxie's Bad Touch. It has seen its day. This I wanna try out. This I'm definitely keeping for later. This I'm having my just a pretty good weapon about having my doubts as to whether it will eventually become useful. Likewise. This I should have brought along. Anyways, I'll do that all off camera and I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.